Hey guys, it's Kieran from Thrifted Living. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Today I would like to share with you thrift haul number seven. If you watched my video last week, you will have seen that I went to the Salvation Army on family day when everything is 50% off. If you're interested in seeing thrift haul number six, I will link that above. Thrift haul number seven is going to be a continuation of the epic haul that I found at the Salvation Army last week. In thrift haul number six, I hauled clothing and boots. One of the things I hauled is actually this sweater that I'm wearing right now. Isn't it so cute? I feel like I should be wearing a necklace or something with it though. I feel like it kind of looks plain. I promise it's really, really beautiful on. So while last week's video was all about clothing and boots, this week's video is going to be all about housewares and like miscellaneous, I think I'll call the rest of it. So let me just jump into the haul. I think first I'm gonna start with the miscellaneous things, things that I kind of don't really know what category to explain that they would be in. If you watched my follow me around video, which I will link above, you will have seen that I found a jelly belly jelly bean gumball dispenser, if that makes any sense. I definitely had to pick it up. So here it is up close. It is this really pretty gold jelly bean dispenser. It is glass, which I was really surprised. I thought it was going to be plastic, but this is definitely a, a glass jar, and it all unscrews. I've taken it all apart. I did find an M&M &M in it, so I definitely had to take that out, but I really love this. I think that, you know, for it being something relatively new, the design is really pretty and really classic, and it's actually pretty heavy, too. I love Jelly Belly Jelly Beans. So when I was a child, there was a candy store that my mom and my dad would take my sisters and I to, and on Easter, uh, this person came dressed up like in a Jelly Belly costume, and um, I was afraid of him because he was a giant jelly bean, and I feel like that is kind of a thing that a four-year-old should be afraid of, and um, I locked him out of the store, and I locked like everybody else out of the store so nobody could get in. Aside from that funny story I really do love Jelly Belly I love the buttered popcorn uh, jelly beans because they're super delicious so I think that I'm gonna put something like that in in this not like I'm gonna eat them all the time because they do hurt my teeth I think I'm gonna display it in my craft room so this next miscellaneous piece I got because I love to knit and I think that this is just such a really cool piece of history and really cool piece of like sewing and crafting history um, so let me share it with you so this is an entire knitting set and it comes in this really pretty like case and I think the design is really pretty it's like retro but like coming back in now so when you open it up on the inside it is like a velvet material and it is an entire sewing set isn't this the coolest thing um, it is for knitting in the round so it does have um, these these little pieces the one end has a screw and then the needle attaches to the other side so you can use different size needles um, to knit in the round on the inside it has this little booklet that describes how to use it and gives you some instructions it is from the boy brand and I'm trying to find a year on it but I really can't seem to find a year anywhere so I just think it's really classic and retro and really cool I might gift it I'm not quite sure I just really like it I think it's a really neat find and it was only five dollars okay so everything else I found is glassware I have been obsessed with apothecary jars well, a couple videos ago I believe it was thrift haul number five um, I'll link it above so you guys can check it out I thought that the jars that I was finding were um, called cloches but they're not they're called apothecary jars so I have to thank all of the youtubers out there who told me the difference because I didn't know so I did find a few more apothecary jars and I'm really excited to try to use them in my kitchen and in my craft room so the first thing I found is this jar youtubers tell me is this an apothecary jar does it is it because it has the lid in the bottom um, I just want to make sure I'm saying it right Either way, I love it and I'm gonna use it. I like it because it's a little taller and um, it doesn't have like any protective seal. It's not like airtight, but that's fine. Um, and I really like it because it's a taller design and um, it'll go well with the other jars that I'm collecting. So in thrift haul number six, I found a sweater that made me all excited for fall. But in this video, I found some glassware that is making me excited for Christmas. So I found these two like Christmas tree glasses. I've seen a lot of youtubers use these um, as like really classic simple design for their Christmas decor And I got really excited when I found these I don't know if I watch too much YouTube But sometimes when I see things in person that I've seen other youtubers use I feel like I'm meeting a celebrity kind of like I saw these and I was like, oh my gosh So you know so-and-so used this in a video um, So I was really thrilled when I found these I think they're really pretty um, The cool thing about them and I don't know if they're all like this is that it has like a little plastic bottom and um, um, you can just seal it so you could put like food or something in it and these were only a dollar 49 so I thought that was a pretty good deal 
on uh, these two little glass Christmas tree things. So I was scrolling Pinterest right after Valentine's Day and I saw this craft where you take a terracotta pot and like a little glass like small fish bowl and you glue them together and you make like a faux gumball machine. I will insert a picture here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So uh, unfortunately I found that craft after Valentine's Day because I thought it'd be a really fun craft, one for my kids to do or two for me to do and to give to other people. I've been on the lookout for like small glass bowls. So I found some at the Salvation Army and I picked up four of them. It is just this really simple glass bowl. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a terracotta pot and put it down upside down underneath and then maybe put a bow around it and you can fill it up with candy. Um, I feel like I also saw a YouTuber do this. If I figure out who it is, I will put a little link on the video and I will also put a link to the channel up below. I also got an extra one of these because one of the reward systems that I do in my classroom, one of my colleagues is also interested in doing. So I got her one of these to be able to do the same reward system. I was really excited that I was able to pick up four of these. Okay, so this last piece of glassware that I got, I was really excited to find at the Salvation Army. So I was waiting in line to check out and I saw this jar that I think is an apothecary jar, but I'm not sure, and I got really, really excited. Okay. YouTube friends who are smarter than I when it comes to these things. Is this an apothecary jar? I don't know. What I'm thinking about doing is if I use it, this in my kitchen, I could put like food or candy or oatmeal or something um, and have it on the counter as a pretty way to display those things or cookies or something like that. Or if I use it in my craft room, I could put like pom-poms or stickers or washi tape or something like that. Um, in here. I was so excited when I found this because it was $10, but because everything was half off that day, I got this for $5. Like, it's as big as my head. Like, it's a really big piece. Um, so I was really excited that I found this. YouTube friends, please tell me, is this an apothecary jar or not? I really don't know. So when I went to the Salvation Army, I also found flashcards. You guys might be wondering why I'm collecting so many flashcards. One, I use them in my classroom and I feel like you can never have enough. But two, um, I started an after school program in October. It is a program that I'm doing downtown in my city with my students. So most of my students live in the same neighborhood um, downtown in my city. And so I found a contact person who runs other programming for kids um, in my city and I was able to start an after school program for homework help. We started just one day a week on Mondays and we did three 30 to 4 30 and now we've extended it to Monday and Friday 3 30 to 4 30 and our program just keeps on growing we went from like three kids to like 15 kids we have like six or seven volunteers um and it's just I'm really excited because that was part of the reason why Sean and I wanted to buy our house where we did is that we wanted to be members of this community and we wanted to give back um, and to really be involved. And so I'm really excited that my little tiny after school program uh, that I created is starting to grow. So I was really excited when I found these flashcards. They are addition and multiplication. And for some reason, the multiplication is 99 cents and the addition is 69 cents. I don't know. I think that they should be the same price. I don't know. I am definitely always looking for flashcards. My kids can always use flashcards in the after school program. Right now, I've been bringing my flashcards back and forth from school and to after school, so I'm trying to collect a big amount of flashcards so that I can have one set at after school and one set in the classroom. So recently, I've been working really hard at the after school program to try to uh, clear up the space and to really utilize all of the space that we have. And so please stay tuned to see more videos on the work I'm doing in the after school program and how we're working on organizing that space. Well, that's it for the haul. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to watch the first part of this haul. I have the video linked below in the description box and I have also put it up in a card. Please check out my new blog at thriftedlivingblog.wordpress.com. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram to see my thrifted teacher outfits of the day. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.